Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering where this is going. Thank you all for being here. We've got some great awards that we're going to be giving out tonight. It's so important to preserve our history and to be able to celebrate it as well. And so we're going to be doing that here this evening. As we do, though, I would like to recognize, and by the way, my name is Mark Turner. I'm the mayor of Morgan Hill and your MC this evening. And I would like to, thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to introduce another mayor, the mayor of San Jose, who is here this evening. Would you please give a warm round of applause to Mayor Matt Mahan. Thanks, Mayor Turner. How are you all doing? Good. Hey, this is a great turnout and a beautiful evening. Thanks to Bill Schro for hosting us here this evening in History Park. Where's Bill? I saw him there. There he is. Thank you so much for all the work you do to preserve our history here, Bill. Deserves a big round of applause. And I also want to thank Paul Bayham and Terry Johnson for the work that they're doing and just recognizing all of you out here doing the important work of preserving and celebrating our history and helping to inspire the next generation by looking back and learning lessons. You know, I talk a lot about change and all the things we need to do going forward. But I have to admit, my heart is really in history. That was always my favorite subject in school. I loved learning about where we came from. And it isn't just about that old adage that you know those who, who fail to learn from their history are doomed to repeat it. To me, it's also about a sense of belonging. You know, We live in a world where everything's about efficiency. Everything's become very, very modularized, very cookie cutter, very homogenous. And it's nice to be from a place that has a story. And, and to be able to see that and walk around and, 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 and connect with those stories. My mom's side of the family came here four generations ago from Genoa and worked in the apricot orchards and in the canneries and really growing up on those, on those stories gave me a sense of connection to San Jose, a city that at the time I didn't even live in. I was living in Watsonville on the other side of the hill, but I always grew up on stories of San Jose's history and it gave me a, a real sense of connection. In fact, even when I went off to college, I was always talking about wanting to come back to San Jose and felt a real special connection to our city. And so that's really, to me, what this is about. It's that sense of community, of belonging, of, of, of having, a, having a tribe, having a community you're part of. And it's about our collective story of where we've been, what makes us who we are, and where we're going together that's so special about history. So I just, thanks for having me, and, and thanks again to everybody. Congratulations to all the awardees. Have a good evening. Thank you, Mayor Mahan. I do like to uh, announce, I think we have a few other dignitaries here we'd like to make mention of. County Supervisor Cindy Chavez is here, and I think, Supervisor, you're going to say a few words? Yay, Cindy Chavez! If you have a few words to say, we'll uh, just give you a round of applause as she makes her way up. We'll have to turn up the front of the stage. It's, no, no. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am so honored to be with all of you today and I'm thrilled that so many of you are being acknowledged. You know, one of the things that's so beautiful about San Jose, Santa Clara County is how many stories there are. Oh yeah. And I want to thank each and every one of you for protecting and preserving those stories in a million different ways. And really I came tonight, I, I know we um, have some small certificates for you, but really truly the reason I came tonight was say thank you. Because what you preserve and protect allows the next generation to learn, to appreciate, to feel connected to the community that we've grown to love so much. So thank you very, very much for letting me be with you. And I'm so excited to see all of the preservation organizations working together because preserving history is hard work, as each of you know. And if we don't do it as, as, if we don't do it as a team, we're not gonna be nearly as effective. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great night. Good evening, I'm State Senator Dave Cortese, and I too am here to, I think first and foremost, congratulate uh, the awardees. What a list of, of honorees tonight. Um, I got to see that uh, when the invitation came around, and um, one, it's great to recognize uh, so many of those names, I think each and every one of them, and, and the other is uh, to realize 
as you think and as you reflect, and I think we'll have an opportunity to do that this evening as those awards are given out, um, how they've touched this community, especially in the context of preservation, which is so important. Uh, I think it's important. I guess I'm a little biased. Uh, some people, you know, say that won't get you much anymore. Um, being around for three generations or, or, or talking about or remembering what happened generations ago here. Um, but I think it does more than that. I think it's important. And I think unless you know um, where you've been, where you came from, um, you're not really going to chart the course going forward. You're not really going to know where your North Star is as a community. I mean, when people who don't know the history of this valley, they ask about it, right? I mean, how many times do you get that question? Well, what was it really like? What was it really like? It's such a joy to share what we know. Um, but it also tells you something. They wouldn't be asking uh, if it wasn't important, mm -hmm. if it didn't mean something at a deeper level. Uh, so keep up the good work. Um, thank you all. And um, I look forward uh, to the next big event. Great turnout. Great San Jose turnout. Thank you. Okay, we're now going to introduce uh, History, History San Jose President and CEO Bill Schro to welcome you and to say a few words. Bill? I would also like to welcome you to the second annual Santa Clara County Preservation Alliance Awards. As Terry Johnson, our chairman, said in his welcome letter, we are better together. This event is about networking, sharing, and collaborating with other like-minded preservation and historical groups, and honoring some folks for their contributions to our shared cultural heritage. At this time, I would like to introduce our Preservation Alliance team. Would the team stand up if they're sitting down or where, raise their hand or wave? <laughs> so uh, we have Terry Johnson, who is the president of the Santa Clara, I'm sorry, the new Almaden Quick uh, Silver County Park and Vice Chair of the Santa Clara County Historical Heritage Commission. We have Bill Hare. There he is. He is a, a commissioner on the Santa Clara County Historical Heritage Commission, as well as the president of the Milpitas Historical Society. Uh, Gail Frank. Where's Gail? There she is. She is a, um, on the Preservation Action Council, as well as a member of the California Pioneers of Santa Clara County. We have Annette Stransky. Is Annette here? There she is in the back. The City of Milpitas was receiving the Outstanding Building Restoration Award for the Outstanding Preservation and Restoration of the Jose Maria de Jesus Alviso Adobe. Presenting the award is Bill Hare. Hi, everybody. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> My name is Bill Hare. I'm the president of the Milpitas Historical Society for some reason. And uh, I'm also a docent at the, uh, uh, at the beautiful Jose Maria Alviso Adobe, which I am proud to be honoring tonight. This project has been many years in the making, phase by phase, wow. finally opening this past October. The city of Milpitas has kept their eye on the prize. Just one back, Jenny. Just stay where you are. You're good. There you are. The city of Milpitas kept their eyes on the prize over the years, first with a gorgeous restoration of the exterior of the building, and soon after creating a wonderful park around the adobe and the other historical outbuildings on the site. Finally competing, completing the interior restorations, signage, and displays one would see in most museums. The big difference comes when the lights dim and the walls around you come to life, telling a 190-year story through art, animation, narration, and music as you move through the various rooms. Harvests, cattle drives, and fandangos came and went. California's rancho era ended. The Alviso children grew up and moved away. The rancho went quiet until a new family arrived. That story begins in 1907, when a brave young woman with a spirit of adventure boarded a ship and sailed across the ocean. She left everything she knew behind in Italy. Her name was Lucia Kusinj. 
And there's 28 more minutes of that through three rooms. And I would love everybody to come. Uh, if you look on the Milpitas Historical Society table over here, we have information of how you can get there. Admission is free. And I'd like to introduce Renee Lorenzen, who uh, is our head of Parks and Recreation of Milpitas. And uh, this was her pet project. Good evening, everyone. So I first met the Alviso Adobe about 25 years ago. Um, I was the uh, uh, recording secretary for the commission. Little did I know that over two decades later, I'd be the head of the department and would be able to work on this project. So um, I've seen it from when we first bought it to where it was sort of a random storage for somebody who used to live there to now this beautiful museum. So along the way, we do need to thank a number of iterations of Milpita City Councils that stuck with the vision. Our project management staff, Michael Silvera and Glenn Wong, did an amazing job. The Mawakma Ohlone, whose land this sits on, um, and they blessed our project, which was meaningful. Our Milpitas Historical Society um, and our fearless docents, both Bill Hare and uh, Joe E. Hart, who's over here. So um, thank you on behalf of all of us. Um, this was my first large history project. And what I learned was if you're going to tell history, you have to listen. So please come and hear the walls that can talk in Milpitas. Thank you. Thank you.